Venture Foundation. And I'm here with Frank Fontana, who is uh, one of HG, a uh, host for one of HGTV's longest running hit series, Design on a Dime, and also the author of the new book, Dirty Little Secrets of Design. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Frank is actually here to uh, do a book signing as well as a talk about his new book. That's right. Um, so tell me, uh, what was the inspiration for writing this book? Well, as you know, I've been the host of HGTV Design Diamond. Before that, I was a host of a show called Take Over My Makeover, and I've done a variety of specials for the network. No, and uh, I would always get these emails from all over the country of folks, you know, wanting to know about the secrets. Like, how do you really build something that you see on the show? And sometimes, you know, because it's a formatted TV show that has four segments, it has format to it, and it has to be part entertainment and part information. Right. So, you know, what I felt was lacking in that is, well, how do you really get into the, the dirt of what we do? So, you know, I've been, and I'm a note taker and a collector of, of you know, images and, and ideas and stuff. And I've always, you know, with the show, it's not just something that, you know, uh, we hire outside designers to come in or outside carpenters. You know, I literally have to build my own projects, oh, wow. paint my own stuff, sew, which I'm not good at. Right. Um, so, you know, I, I've been, I took all my notes, took all my sketches, and literally put them in, in one book that answered all of the emails, basically. Oh, nice. And then I took it a step further, you know, including my personal story and, and how I got to where I'm at. And, you know, it's an interesting ride, you know, being a, a designer in real life and then getting the opportunity to share your creative vision with not just a city, but the nation and right. now with the book it's around the world right. you know so right. it's pretty exciting so it, it's, I would say it was a two to three year in a making oh, kind wow. of thing and okay. uh, labor of love yes yeah, it's <laughs> nonetheless yeah. Well, well it's a great um, great book and as we were just talking it's Thank you. a great design for the book yeah too. I mean that was important you know obviously being a designer I wanted something that was aesthetically pleasing right. as well as hip and now mm -hmm. if that makes sense you know okay. meaning that you know what's really popular is uh, you know you're a social media expert. You know how everything is a three-second society if you don't catch the attention. Exactly. You know, that's what I, I believe we did with the book is, like, really create these pop-outs and these blurbs and, the, and these moments in the book that you really can, you know, relate to that's current. Right. So exactly. that's what we're going for, a really current feel. Oh, great. So um, what are some tips that you would give a, a novice do-it-yourselfer? You know, first thing first is don't be lazy. <laughs> I mean, that's the number one way to save money is do it yourself. Right. You know, and then I have a, a rule of the three R's: recycle, refurbish, and repaint. Mm -hmm. Anytime that you could, you know, truly be eco-friendly and not in, in, in buying eco-friendly materials, all of that helps. But what people don't realize is it actually takes a lot of chemicals and process that emits fumes into the, the into the you know atmosphere that actually do more harm than good. Right. So I always start with you know dumpster diving thrift store shopping and taking something you know with a vision of what else can it be for instance if I have a traditional chair if I threw some high gloss paint on it reupholstered it added some you know decorative you know elements to it I all of a sudden bring it into a more funky colonial modern feel or a Hollywood glam style so I think it's, it's really about thinking outside the box and you know when you're talking about saving money doing it yourself is the way to go Awesome. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking oh, a few minutes out to chat with me. Absolutely. And uh, if you aren't able to make the talk and book signing tonight, you can find uh, Frank's book at our CAF shop. Sure. And I highly suggest you pick it up. And thank you so much, and see you later. Thanks. Thank you.